Okay, so let me know if this has ever happened to you. You go to take a picture of something small, like a flower, and you're trying to focus on it. The camera's not really locking on, and eventually you take the shot and it's kind of blurry. Well, the reason for that is something called a minimum focus distance. And every lens has a different minimum focus distance that allows you to focus on something in front of your camera. Now with this particular lens, this is just the standard kit lens, I actually have to get back about a foot in order for me to lock onto this little tiny flower. You can see I can't really pick up on the tiny details and I'm not really close enough uh, to really show off the beauty of this little flower. Now there's a cool little trick that we can do that costs no money and all we have to do is reverse our lens. And in doing so, we're able to focus a lot, lot closer. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so what we've done is we've blown it up, we pick up on all those tiny details, and we've made something that's really, really small look really, really big. While this technique is really fun, it's kind of cumbersome in that the lens, you know, you're having to hold it with one hand and the camera with the other. Uh, there's actually something that you can get that only costs $10, and it's a macro reverse ring. So what that does is it attaches your lens to your camera and sort of marries them together to sort of free up your other hand. If you own a Nikon camera, in order to utilize this technique, you actually have to find this little lever on the back of your lens and hold it open. So if you're gonna be shooting with this for a while, one thing you can do is tape it and that way you can take shot after shot without having to keep your finger on the front of the lens. The settings are pretty simple with this technique. All we have to do is jump into manual mode, which is the letter M, set your shutter speed to one over 200. It's a good shutter speed to cut down on camera shake and ensure you get nice sharp results. And then start out with an ISO of 100, take a couple test shots, and if things look a little too dark, go ahead and increase your ISO a bit. That's gonna help determine how bright the image is. And what's nice is that with the lens detached from the camera, we don't have to worry about setting the aperture. Now, another affordable option is to use a macro adapter. I really like the Raynox DCR250. This little guy is really cool because it actually clips onto the front of your lens so you can easily transform it from regular shooting to macro shooting really, really quickly. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. Okay, so you can see very, very similar results to reversing your lens. And best of all, this will only cost you about $50. So it's another really affordable solution to macro photography. So I've got my boy Cade and he's gonna help me today show you guys a very cool little trick you can do to get better looking photos indoors with the built-in flash using a cup. 